With Black Friday coming and Christmas in one month, buying toys will be at the top of the list for many parents. Cronkite News reporter Eleni Dow looked into what toys to look out for. It's a table full of toys, much like you'd find in homes after a happy holiday season. But trouble can start when little kids get their hands on them. Parents give toys to children that have many moving parts or their sets of Legos. And all it takes is a split second for a parent to look away and a child pops something in their mouth and it can easily be choked on. Every year, the Arizona Public Interest Research Group Education Fund, or PERG, releases a report listing toys that are potentially hazardous to children. In 2014, 19 toys were recalled from store shelves because they posed a choking hazard for children. From 2001 to 2013, out of 253 toy-related deaths, 106 were from choking. Any toy that can fit into this special choke testing cylinder could lodge in a toddler's throat. Even without the official test, parents can take precautions. If a toy can fit into a toilet paper roll, then it is too small for a child under the age of three. Other dangerous toys in the report include magnets that can cause internal damage if swallowed, toys with toxic metals such as chromium and lead, and toys that can damage hearing with loud noises. In Phoenix, Eleni Dow, Cronkite News. Doctors also want parents to remember the safety gear to accompany gifts like bicycles, skates, scooters, and especially the new hoverboards sure to be popular this holiday season.